Hey guys, I've got an embryonic uh, idea. <laughs> um, this piece of bar, this holds the detent that I use for when I use a gear at the back for uh, dividing. I covered that long, long ago on another video. But I've been thinking, particularly watching some of the uh, other machines in use, that I need some form of brake just to speed up the uh, stopping of the chuck spinning. I've got many choices actually, not without getting complicated, but what I thought was, I've marked this up. That is the area that coincides with this area on the back of the spindle. It isn't very big, it's only about a half inch and a bit, but uh, as so often it's a case of what can I make out of what I've got and the idea at the moment, so this is this may come to nothing I'm going to drill this get some round stock and have probably two or three inches above with a knob and a spring under here on the stock we'll have a locking collar and then we'll come down to some sort of foot which are lined with cork I expect and the idea being then to um, just, that's a, just nearly taking this off uh, is just to briefly press down against spring pressure uh, to put the uh, cork breaking material onto the spindle it may or may not work I'm not bothering to draw anything it'll be done totally on the fly and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, I've made a sort of start. We've um, we've marked this up. Got a centre pop here, so we're going to drill that out. And I've got some half-inch round, and I've got two springs having looked in the spring box I think that one will probably do nicely this one's shorter but quite a lot stronger so I think it'll be I think that one will do the trick but we'll see the other thing we'll have to do <coughs> is uh, put a um, drill through here for a set screw and uh, turn the end to a small peg probably um, an eighth of an inch and then in the suitable portion of should we call it the plunger for, <laughs> for now we'll have to cut a little length of keyway so that it doesn't rotate and then at the bottom uh, we'll drill that to take a little bridge piece which might well just be aluminum which can be lined with cork that's uh, much later on so anyway, that's the general plan at the moment as I said before no plans all on the fly <laughs> we'll see what happens right well I'm going to recap on what I'm considering as a sequence here uh, I'm not going to video all the stages to get to tedious. Anyway I'm just about to uh, drill this uh, piece of half inch rod get a thread in it which is going to hold the brake shoe shall we call it and then I shall make the uh, brake shoe um, this piece of paper represents the diameter of the spindle plus an eighth of an inch for a cork lining uh, I've got to cut this piece of aluminum down in a minute and then the cap screw here will be recessed and uh, that leaves me probably about a half inch to go into the round bar and once we've made that I've got to cut this get this cut down and uh, cutting out this profile will be a bit tricky probably some of that will be done by hand 
and this is marked up for a center one and a half inch hole through there and then in the side we'll drill through for a, uh, a grub screw which might well suffice with this one which is going to follow an end milled groove but we'll come to that later so uh, let's press on and get a bit further just a bit of an update, I'm skipping a lot of parts on the video because it'll only be uh, tedious, so uh, let's recap where we've got to. Uh, drilled and tapped the end of the uh, round bar, that's going to take a 5, five by 0.8 cap screw and the main block that's been drilled out and that's the that's the top that's been drilled out and reamed so we've got quite a nice fit there and then this side here we've got a set screw and that will be modified that will be modified to uh, turn down the end just a little bit to suit the uh, milling that I'm going to do on here because I've got a miller slot for rotational guidance and finally the uh, the brake shoe we'll call it I think I showed this earlier on in fact this is another piece the other one came to grief <laughs> Uh, a lot of reflection here. Uh, anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm serial drilling around this profile. I don't think I've got any tooling that's going to make it much easier. So I'm going to serial drill and then cut cut out the rough and then finish by hand uh, to leave the surface for the cork uh, brake lining. That's where we are now and we'll come back to it again soon when we make some more progress so incidentally <laughs> I was going to say once that's removed then we will counterbore for the cap screw so that it's below the level of the cork anyway we'll show that up a bit later on right a little bit more progress here um, that's the uh, scrap from the profile I could probably if my bandsaw was working I could have used that but anyway serial drilling and metal uh, blade in a jigsaw got that out um, I've cleaned this up up to a point uh, it's not going to be perfect inside it doesn't have to be to take the cork um, I had a piece of cork, so oh, there it is. So the general, the general, the general idea is that the cork will go into that, and it, I, I just tried it on the spindle. It actually feels pretty reasonable. So this has got to be, this has got to be cleaned up and finished a little better but what I've done now is I've counterboard and made the clearance for the uh, cap screw so that now that now goes in you know I've got the, <laughs> I've got the viewfinder turned around everything's mirror uh, the cap screw goes in there and then we'll get into the We'll get into the round bar and you get the general idea of what I'm aiming at. I mean, I said when I started this, it's totally on the fly. And I should probably put a, uh, a non-slip washer under here so that when it's finally adjusted, because it's going to be pretty critical. Um, and now I've just got to work out where I'm going to cut my Miller slot and then probably put a half inch thread on the top 
and make a little knob spring I may make a collar down the bottom I'm not sure yet but anyway there we go we're making a bit of progress slowly well I think this may be a bit of a failed experiment uh, couldn't really tell till I tried but the um, you may be able to see the cork lining on there this hasn't been polished or finished I probably won't even bother uh, the spring on top probably is only going to need very slight tension to keep that out of contact and having had more thoughts I, I'm actually using this uh, set screw here just to hold the thing up let me just get that loosened off so that's in position now and uh, as I say just a small amount of tension on this spring will take it out of contact so we need some sort of knob on top we've got to do that yet however two aspects one is negative one's positive uh, I was going to machine a, um, a slot mill out a slot here for the uh, set screw to engage in so it didn't turn but in fact once it's down it's uh, it's located behind this gear so that saves one stage and basically just leaves me to finish something on top um, the other thing though is I don't think there's enough surface area uh, the cork has already polished itself a bit and there was of course a bit of residual uh, oil on the spindle but it will probably only need to lift you see that movement there to there there to there so it can stay registered behind that gear so that keeps that going However, I don't feel very much I'm getting in the way here. I don't feel much in the way of resistance and of course the chuck is a very large mass to stop spinning. I, uh, there's some resistance so it may slow things down but it won't bring it to a, a rapid stop. I may have to experiment with the lining uh, let's say we've got eighth inch cork at the moment may try something else not sure what so possibly finish the top and not go a lot further so I'll probably come back and sum up a little bit later on well I pretty much finished making all the bits the um, brake shoe as we'll call it that's uh, held on with a cap screw which is inside there and the other end of the bar I've cut down and put a half inch thread on it and then a piece of scrap that's tapped half inch a little bit of weight to it to get the hand on and the one thing that um, I'll put this on the lathe in a minute the one thing that I cut the uh, half inch just a little bit longer than needed so as to let me change hands here you can see what I'm doing when it's actually in position and I've added a couple of washers having put it higher it means I can add washers as necessary to get the uh, spring tension suitable so we'll put that back on the lathe and uh, try it out but as I mentioned earlier I don't think there's enough surface area the uh, cork has quite a bit of grip put some pressure on it it's good but the spindle that it's bearing on is very very polished very shiny 
Well, there it is in place. Uh, I've got uh, three washers there. There's actually, it may be that this is not quite square with the round bar. It's a little bit of wear there, just touching from the teeth of the spindle. Plus the fact there's a fair bit of bit of movement there, so it could well be a couple of modifications, probably still perhaps mill out a guide slot so that doesn't because that's going to probably wear itself when the spindle's running. But the main problem is it just isn't really very effective. You know, it's one of these crackpot ideas that one gets and you think, well, hey, let's try and make that. So it's uh, interesting, but things need to be improved. In fact, if there was a way to have one of these underneath and a mechanism to bring them both in together, it would probably be better. But again, it's down to surface area, just haven't got enough. Well, it's, it, it slows it down a little bit quicker, but it's hardly an abrupt stop. So we may come up with some other idea eventually. So there you have it. That's just a harebrained scheme that uh, seemed as though it might work. A little bit of machining, messing around. I've still got the set screw in here. So if I do cut a milled slot for guidance, uh, that will come into use and I may put on a stronger spring and have a collar a lockable collar on here all sorts of things that might change but anyway there you are <laughs> just a little bit of messing around and uh, I might as well let you see it if only to give you a chuckle <laughs> thanks for watching anyway